Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm very proud to announce my very first area restricted hardcore Iron Man account stuck in Varlamor. The plan for this account is extremely simple. I am never allowed to leave the area of Varlamor and I will do everything I can in order to obtain best possible gear this area has to offer. That includes all of the Perilius Moon's drops and also the Dizana Squiver. Obviously, the road to get to that spot is very long, but I do believe it is possible. And in this series, we're gonna try our best to showcase everything Varlamor has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Var Varlamor stuck hardcore Iron Man account. I really want to push this account and see how far I can progress an account by simply being stuck to this small of an area. Now we are starting with no items in our bank and just a hardcore Iron Man armor on us. I mean, realistically, I could just drop it, but I mean, it looks so cool. We're gonna wear it. Uh, now the stats are all one and I know exactly where I'm gonna begin. We're gonna change that and we're gonna start kicking some seagulls. Seagulls cannot hit you. So this is going to be a very good early training spot for me in order to get some base stats, base HP, so I feel just a little bit safer. Meanwhile kicking, there is also citizens located around this, which I can pickpocket in order to get uh, a little bit of GP, and slowly build up on both thieving experience and coins, that's my plan. That's going to be the very first level to thieving. My first discovery is this trader crew member and I can already see a couple of items that are instantly going to be useful from here. Now firstly I'm getting a tinder box so whenever we want to train a little bit of fire making we can now go ahead and do that. I'm also going to get myself a knife so if I ever want to train fletching I can do that. And there's other things here like fishing rod, lobster pot, I don't know if there is fishing spots but we will experience this as we go. And there is a very first strength level. The plan is very simple, train strength until I can start hitting twos and then probably a little bit onto attack. There's level three, gaining ridiculous 2000 XP per hour. We're now level four strength. There's level three thieving. Uh, the end goal or the close goal is to be able to pickpocket guards, which is level 40 thieving. There it is, we can now hit twos. I think I'll actually keep going and train strength a little bit more. And we're now all the way up to six strength and five combat. That is seven strength. There's level five thieving. The prayer is going to be one of the biggest obstacles in this account. We're now level two and we will need to bury a lot of bones. The goal is obviously to get to 43 and that will actually unlock most of the content for us. And there it is, the big level 10 strength. I found a very important discovery and because of that, it is time to start training attack. There it is, level seven thieving, beautiful. We're also now up to eight combat, eight thieving and just a couple of thieves away until we can afford our very first weapon. There we go, I think that should be it. 295 coins. By running all the way south of the city, there is this beautiful maze shop. And I do believe this is going to help us go through the early combat because by trading Spike, you will see something magnificent in here. We got a rune mace, adamant mace, mithril mace, steel mace, and obviously iron mace, which we do not care about. So steel mace, this is going to be our very first purchase. And let me tell you, it is for sure going to be better than punching. If you look around me, there are crabs. I am so excited of the fact that there are sand crabs on this island, which means that whenever I'm doing something else, I can just park this account on some crabs and AFK my experience, which is something I'm actually fairly excited about because originally I was contemplating how will I go about training my combats high enough to where I can complete some of the content that I want to complete on this account and those crabs are basically going to be our solution to the problem and there it is level 5 attack we can now wield the mace which looks so funny and we can now train strength there we go, we can now hit threes, we are level 11 strength, and this will even further increase our XP per hour. Now that we have somewhat decent base stats, it is time to move away from seagulls. They are no longer our best friends, and we are now entering the world of buffalo farming. Now, you may be wondering why would you be farming buffaloes, and the answer is actually super simple. Uh, these guys also drop food next to bones, and that food is going to be super useful. However, I am no longer fully safe, as you can see, these guys now hit 
22s. We're gonna train a little bit of defense, but the best part about them is this. They now drop raw beef alongside bones. And you may be wondering why is this so important? Well, I want an easy way to train cooking as there is a shop in the city that sells raw food and we can use that to our advantage. Alongside that, in this area, there's also a farmer right down here, which I can also pickpocket and you require level 10 thieving to start pickpocketing those. So this area is just a little bit better and conveniently there is an oven right next to all this buffalo so that's gonna be helpful however I'm burning unlucky conveniently there is potatoes here cabbages there onions there so we got a source of food so I don't need to leave this place for a while now we now have basically a thousand coins I'm gonna get full inventory of potatoes and then we finish off 20 attack I don't know if this is useful at all, just randomly kill the nymph for a ball of wool. I can see myself getting an amulet eventually down the road, so this could actually come in handy. My favorite person, Spike. Let's take a look, do we have enough for a mithril mace? We sure do. How much is the adamant one? 1.2k. Actually very easy to get. I just noticed there are chickens around here, but also I noticed every single one of these areas that has any sort of animals also has an oven inside. So that can be a really nice way for us to train a bit of cooking, get a little bit of XP. Our max hit is 3, which is perfect for the chickens. We can also get a bit of feathers and bones. So this is actually better than seagulls. I just didn't know there was chickens in this area, so that is very cool. <laughs> Dude, what? There's level 3 cooking, I currently have a slightly suboptimal success rate, but that's alright. We now have a food that should heal us by 3. I wanted to very quickly test how realistic sand crabs are for this account. Uh, this is the area where the sand crabs are just free moving, so you realistically can only fight one at a time. Uh, but I do plan on going to a multi zone eventually down the line. I'm only 3 defense with basically no armor, so they do hit a lot of zeros. There it is, steel mace is no more. Mithril Mace is now my best friend. A drop like this I would never even notice, but here's a bronze pickaxe from a sand crab. I'm up to 21 thieving and we almost have enough money to buy an adamant mace here. I'm also starting to think that it's not even worth it for me to train strength anyways. I should rush 30 attack, maybe even 40 attack after that. I'll have to be a little bit smart how I decide to train strength. I think rushing up to like 40 attack so I can use a rune mace as fast as possible is probably a priority for this account. That is the first time this has happened actually mysterious old man let's take a look he wants us to do a maze maze is actually really good for us we can get some really good drops i believe okay not too bad 74 percent yeah 73 74 percent i'm not sure let's take a look what the rewards are okay we get some chaos runes coal and mithril ore my memory is a bit weird i thought that you get a little bit more but anyways there's 22 thieving that's what i wanted to get and let's buy ourselves an adamant mace back in the spike shop and it costs 1.8k let me go ahead and buy this this is for the future and now it is time for me to try and afk for a bit and this ladies and gentlemen is going to be the spot right here on the south of valermore i can see myself spending a lot of time here oh my goodness i'm running back to the bank because i ran out of supplies and i just noticed there's hill giants which is actually pretty good they have some runes on the drop table they have big bones i am on 26 attack i think 30 attack rush is very doable right now so let's keep going and there it is grinded our way slowly three after three after three eight thousand xp per hour we are now 30 attack meaning we can now wield our trusty adamant mace I've seen my first four, there's another one, back to back, beautiful. This is gonna speed things up significantly. I just now noticed there's stalls in the city center, I can get silk, I can even get, uh, I guess, cakes, which should actually be really good food. All of this chicken was completely unnecessary, so that's gonna be super useful. Very fast XP as well. We have some spice stalls there, and we also have some gem stalls. Hey, there we go, our first collection lock, some zombie gloves, funnily enough, we don't have any gloves, so I guess we're gonna rock this for a bit. We also got some zombie trousers, perfect. I'm gonna be pickpocketing a lot, I need to make almost 10k coins right now for everything I try to buy, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for sure. While my inventory is nice and full of cakes, I'm gonna kill some hill giants for a little bit of player XP. I'm now up to 11 from just chickens and whatever random bones I've been burying. The random event RNG continues, another Leo, and the best part about this is that is also a free bank. I can just go right here, toss all my stuff in that I don't need, and now we finish the event. There we go, two more, we now also have zombie boots and the zombie shirt. Is there a zombie helm? If so, uh, I'm one away from being done. 
two more collection log slots completed. We're now full baseline 30s, which actually looks super nice. I'm doing three more strength levels to get a max hit and then attack to 40 and then defense to 40. Thieving session completed. We're now all the way to 32 thieving. Yeah, as you can see, there is Knights of Arlemor here in this shop as well. This is going to be helpful once we're 55 if we need money. But by trading this blacksmith, look at this shop. This shop is actually pretty decent. We got a plate body, plate legs, uh, but there's also a helmet shop somewhere on the south of an island. Very useful, but also very expensive. We're gonna go ahead and buy plate legs for now, and that should increase our defense by a lot, going all the way up to 64, 63. This is going to be super helpful. AFK session was fairly successful. We're now up to 40 attack and 35 strength. The only problem is I don't think I have the money to afford a rune mace. As soon as I can afford a rune mace, however, that's gonna be my best in slot weapon for quite a long time welcome to the project of let's make 18k coins in order to afford a rune mace there is this trick above hunter's guild i've seen it in a video by the way and somewhere above in the hunter's guild there's an item that can be picked up and sold in the grand exchange for quite a decent amount of money there it is i found the item eclipse wine located right on top of the hunter's guild this alex for 600 that's crazy let's hop some worlds get an inventory full make some money this is the fastest Bro, I've been pickpocketing the goddamn farmers for like three coins, man. This is great. First inventory completed. Very conveniently, this is worth a lot of money. What does this even do? Why is this worth so much money? I'm so confused. I noticed a knife spawn in here. So range training all of a sudden, very doable. All right, the moment of truth. How much can I sell this for? 400. What about the next one? 370. What about the next one? 340. This is my very first time reaching 10,000 coins. So one trip, 10k, one more trip and we have a rune mace yep that should be enough to afford ourselves a little weapon upgrade getting 20k has never been easier there is absolutely nothing stopping me from getting the weapon that's gonna be very good for us for a while and i really thought i would need to do a lot more thieving in order to afford this but as you can see 18.7k rune mace is now purchased if we quickly take a look at the bonuses going from 23 milli strength all the way to 36 and that difference is absolutely massive actually very noticeable we can now sell these and you know what just for the sake of it i'm gonna do one more inventory there's inventory number three this right here should be the very last inventory 22.6k we have enough money we are back at the blacksmith we obviously already have the plate legs and now the expensive part is this body it actually costs 16.6k to buy and this is just one step closer to keep improving our defenses we're going from 41 stab 41 slash all the way to 106 step 104 slash adamant plate body is an insanely huge upgrade stop by this florias fashion shop because we don't have a cape and i want a good cape now what suits well with adamant well it's green but i'm going yellow because yellow looks weird let's buy it hell yeah we're running yellow that took a while but we should now be able to afford our very last upgrade for a while an adamant full helm so we're now gonna be going from 106 stab 105 slash defense all the way up to 125 126 fairly massive upgrade um and this is it this is what we got right now when it comes to defenses i have a shield upgrade i can get somewhat easily and outside of that the next upgrades basically come from perilius moons and in order for you to learn how i will deal with perilius moons you're gonna have to subscribe and catch me on the next episode i planned this video to be the first april joke but it ended up being surprisingly enjoyable experience so i have now invested Invested over a day and eight hours into this account. If this video gets seven likes, I will post another episode. Take care and bye bye.